struggle with social media, but do you know that you need it in order to go to the next level? In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can get clients on social media. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back, it's Travis Brady. I've been coaching for 17 years, I've worked with personal trainers, life coaches, realtors, other type of service-based businesses, and one of the things I commonly hear is, social media is hard, or I don't know what to do, or how do I get clients through social media, or they have this negative mindset when it comes to social media. Here's the thing guys, I don't care whether it's social media, it's hanging out downtown, whatever it might be, you have to go where people are at, okay? If you want to start helping people, influencing people, changing lives, getting clients, you have to go where people are at. So on social media, you have to get on there. And it doesn't mean you're on every single platform that exists. You have to go where people are at. And some people are like, oh, well, I don't want to sound stupid or I don't want to sound like I'm salesy or all these things. And I'm like, who are you following? You know, what are you paying attention to? If you're doing social media right, it should be a service to everybody. People should want to be your friend. And at the end of the day, people will want to invite other people to friend you and watch your videos and view your content. Okay, so if there's any negative connotation with social media, you have to get past that really fast. Okay, because if you're not getting past that and you're letting that hold up, that's holding back your income, that's holding back your influence. And then you got to think, you know, how is your family being affected? How are others being affected in the world? Okay, so I'm going to give you a philosophy that will change the way that you do business in general. Okay, so right here on a picture, I use a lighthouse because that's essentially what we need to be. We need to be a lighthouse. So let's, let's break that down for a second. Okay, most people are tugboats in their business and they're not lighthouses and they get burned out easy. And here's the thing they'll hear, oh, I'm just tired getting new clients is so hard and then keeping them and you know they just they keep going into getting clients is hard and what that tells me is they're being a tugboat okay and if you imagine a tugboat it'd have to go out into the water grab people hook them up pull all the way in and then undo it and then go back out there come back in and so whether when we're a lighthouse essentially what we're doing we're attracting people through our lights Okay, and that's what essentially we need to do. We need to put out a bright light, okay, where people can see, okay, people can see your content, people can see your message, people can see what you're offering, and the more people see, and there's light, okay, when I say light, I mean love, okay, so when you put out a loving base message that is to help people and not judging people or not talking bad about the people that you're trying to attract, which happens sometimes. You know, personal trainers are like, you gotta get off your ass, you gotta quit, you gotta start doing it. And it's like, that's not loving, man. We gotta be loving, we gotta be light when we're putting our message. And the more light, okay, we put out into the world, right, through all the different social media platforms, we're gonna create more people seeing what we have to say Okay, we're going to be attract, attracting them. That's what's called attraction marketing. Okay, attraction marketing is where you're attracting your ideal client into you, okay, through different methods such as organic marketing, which is what we're talking about here mostly, although you can do it through paid advertising as well. So now when someone comes closer to the light, now we can go out and say, hey, here's this event. Hey, check out my program. Hey, here's a Facebook group or whatever it might be. One of the things that comes up, you know, and I think is the main limiting belief or the main perception when it comes to social media is like, what about the haters? What was about the people that don't agree? Or what was if, you know, Rob from the third grade, who's always a jerk to me, what is he going to think? <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because that's where people's minds are. They're, all, they're focused on one or two individuals that are in their mind affecting the benefit from all the rest of the people. And so what I tell them is like, who are you attracting through your message? And again, it's going back to love, okay? Going back to light. When you're putting out angry content, talking bad about people, or just kind of being bossy when it comes to your data or, or becoming uh, stuck in the dark shadow of the wizard is what I call it. And the dark shadows wizard says, I know more than you. 
shut up and listen to me. Okay, you are inferior to me. And so we got to put out a message that said, hey, I understand where you've been. And I've created this amazing results, okay, dating, body, real estate, okay, whatever it might be as far as, um, as far as transformation goes and coaching goes, when we start putting out and we start sharing the contrast of everything we've been through, okay, and everything and truly focusing on serving and giving, that's when we get the right people showing up. That's when we get the people that we want to work with show up in our life. Okay, so the best marketers that I see out there, they're just putting out tons of light. They're just putting out tons of content. They're just putting out tons of free programs. And so going back to a video I did earlier is like we have to give more. And when we're giving more, okay, they're going to come to you. And so the analogy I give is we got to spread our seeds, right? We got to spread our seeds. And through spreading of our seeds, some of them are going to land in the organic dirts, perfect sun, perfect water, and they ain't going to grow, right? And what I mean by that is you can sometimes think this is the perfect client. They're in the perfect situation. They have the perfect financial situation to go to the next level and they don't sign up with you. And I totally get it. Super frustrating. But then you throw out a seed and it lands in the crack, in the cement, in the middle of winter. And winter and spring comes around and you see that flower raise. Have you ever seen a weed or a flower grow through a crack? Okay. It happens, doesn't it? And sometimes you feel like the person that would never be interested or never want your services all of a sudden shows up and wants to pay you and work with you. And so what you got to keep doing is you just got to keep spreading your seeds. You got to keep spreading your light to the world. Okay. And eventually it comes back around and you don't know if it's going to be your ideal person that you want to work with, or maybe someone that you didn't necessarily think would be a good fit originally, but they are actually a really good fit. Okay. So you can't ever expect that a certain somebody or a certain individual is going to show up. Okay. We can put out a message and attract those type like-minded people, right? But we don't know which individual of those people. So that's why I see we got to keep spreading our seeds, right? And through spreading of these seeds, okay, something's going to grow, okay? It's inevitable, okay? The best marketers, okay, do this. They put out tons of light, tons of content. Watch Gary V. He's always putting out tons of content. Grant Cardone, tons of content. Brendan Bouchard, tons of content. Okay. We got to get your message out there, books, podcasts. Okay. And you got to get on social media and start doing this and doing it without any expectation of any one seed growing. Okay. You just start planting tons of them, knowing that it'll eventually pop up. Okay. So my next video, I'm going to talk about now you've spread your seeds. How do you exactly spread them? How do you actually shine the light? Like what is the philosophy that you really need to focus on? in order to build up people that actually want your services. So check out that video. Love you guys. Be inspired in what you're doing. Be next gen. Be different, guys. Be unique. And remember, the world needs you.